to see my lawyer. <laughs> Romancing flat. This is oh, the, the this is. Uh, <laughs> it's Twitch approved. I don't like this. I still, I don't like it. I know that! You told me! That doesn't make it better! Uh, it's like, I, I, I walk up to Dr. Bright. Hey, Bright, I'm going to shoot you in the knee. And then I shoot Bright in the knee. Bright complains, and I say, I warned you for... I don't want there to be voice acting. I don't want to know what these things sound like. Wood. Yes. Oh. Oh. How do you know you're in Russian prison? This guy has a, uh, um, an uncanny resemblance to a different, uh, 1940s politician. Wait, shouldn't I be voicing him if we're... Delisle? Okay, this is 100% Germany. A year after the war. Okay, so the... Yeah, 1946. That's... Uh, the war ended in 1945. Very... Oh dear god. This will go I can't do a German accent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I love to talk to about the Wunderbar. <laughs> um, I forgot to ask, how long is stream gonna go tonight? <laughs> okay. Cause, uh... I was just wondering because I might want to go off to do something for my mom because it's her birthday at some point, but we'll see. Anyway, how can how can I do a German? I, 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 this hurts. Hello, yes, I am German Russian man, name Albert. <laughs> Hello, yes. Hello, yes. Name, name, name El Alberto. It's because Germany. That's my Italian. I don't know. Wait, okay. Like, I think the only way I can do a German accent is by yelling. Like, Nine, nine, nine! That's a lie, correction of it! I said a lie, correction of it! 
no. Let's just let's move on. He's all yours, sir. Yo. Oh. oh, I don't know. Okay, that's that's your inner voice. Okay. No, there there would be a speech bubble. I think that. Why would he say you're relieved? Welcome to my office. You're relieved. Oh wait, that is him. God damn it. I didn't read all of it. All I saw was you're relieved and I assumed that it was your character like the game narrating what your character was thinking. Link you'll slip. Why does this guy look like Nixon from the back? Are we talking to Nixon? Bald Nixon. Uh, uh, okay, how, how do I want to do his voice? I... I don't know what Jeff Bezos sounds like. Do you think I ever listened to the man? Do you think that I am, like, such a masochist that I want to cause my ears to bleed? No. I've tra- <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's gonna be his voice. I've transformed Del Isle Correctional Institute from a dingy court jail to one of the top facilities in the country. Did you know that? I didn't do that just by imprisoning small-time crooks, murderers, and thieves, no, sir. Over the years, I have curated a very specific type of prisoner. <laughs> Deviant. What is the... Why, why the way that he's looking? <laughs> why I had this as well? I don't like this. I don't like him. He has, like, he has proper sex pest vibes. Look at that face. Why was my mic muted? I mean, I heard you. No, and Twitch. Oh, for shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, and I just realized... Yeah, cause I'm not going to be able to tell where everything is, so I'm just going to turn off chat box. So, this entire time, you've been completely silent. Apparently. Good, good job. Good. Very. What? Round of applause. It wasn't muted when I opened stream last, so why did it sound like I go to gameplay one, two? being muted did you like change like did did you need to change it from like the state that it was in when you're like getting ready to stream page maybe i don't know but anyway let's continue that might be it. god damn it they're not like you or me <laughs> are you sure about that <laughs> i just Sickos, perverts, communists. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Hatchet, you really like you. <laughs> Whatever you want to call them, they can't be rehabilitated because they're barely human to begin. Oh god, I. Oh dear god. Can we kill this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Just don't tell him about hentai sites. <laughs> Can we. This guy's literally saying that anyone who subscribes to a single political uh, affiliation are subhuman. <laughs> and the strangest part is, 
you'd think every part of their brain is broken, but they can still feel shame. A father of three will try to shoot you dead if you kill me. Oh. A father of three will try to shoot you dead if you accuse him of putting on dresses and having sex with bellboys. <laughs> what the fuck? What does that even mean? I think what? He... This guy needs to take a chill pill. <laughs> yeah. What's, what point is he even trying to say? I mean, you say if a father of three put on a dress and had sex with men. And you try to accuse them of doing that. <laughs> it would kill you. Oh. A well-to-do woman would stick her head in the oven before she... Oh, I just it. read ahead. Oh, boy. Before she'd admit to a dalliance with the... Uh, uh, yeah, that's what I said. Oh boy, too. I don't. I don't feel like reading that last bit. I, I'll I, assume I, that it. Yeah. I'll assume everyone can read. Yeah, that, that that's fair. <laughs> I did not think that would be in this game. This 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 guy is like getting worse and worse. Yes, he is. Oh, his face. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It gets even worse. Catch it, it gets even worse. Ah, uh, and hell, even my own mother was a goddamn shit. <laughs> I really want to shoot this guy. <laughs> He's a massive piece of shit. I mean, look at his face. <laughs> Wait, that's what I was thinking. This is Wario. This is hyper realistic <laughs> Wario. Look at his face. Am I wrong? <laughs> And hell, even my own mother was a damn suffragette. But me, your dad, would have beat the spot out of her if we found that out before she croaked on us. Jesus Christ! Can we... I... There's... I... I want to kill this man. <laughs> This is aw this is awful. It's a different thing to get confessions from these freaks. Or it's a difficult thing. Yeah. Now normally when a district attorney needs a bit more time to build a case against one of these deviants, they'll rush them through the courts on some trumped up charge, keep them in prison for a while and hopefully buy enough time to build a case. But if they can't, Delhi's Correctional Institute will get a confession for them. Wait, hold on. Are the things that he considers deviants gonna be the flesh monsters? Oh, what the fuck? This is this is wrong. Please don't be that way, please. All that I knew is this is gonna be a horror visual novel about dating flesh. I did not expect uh. this. I don't I don't like the world that I don't like the world that's being built up. Yeah. I don't like this. I think this is supposed world to be based off World War Two era era or whatever. Well yeah, that much <laughs> No shit, it's based off World War Two era thinking. It, it it started it started by saying that it takes place in forty six. So I'm I'm very prepared for it to get messed. Oh no! Please don't tell me it says something about Jew people in here. Oh, oh please don't. How? Yeah, that's that's the real question. Given his sentiments, how how many how many lines of dialogue until he starts talking about the Jewish question? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> or starts rambling about Jewish Bolshevism. Everybody oh, take your bets. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, let's not bet on that. This is awful. Everything mm. about this is awful. I hope he dies. Same. Anyway. We've read the works of Freud, Morno, and Watson. 
Are those like psychologists or something like that? I believe those are all early, uh, early psychologists. All three of which I'm willing to bet. I know Freud for sure, but I'm willing to guess all three of these guys are no longer considered credible within modern psychology. Oh. oh I know no. Freud for sure, but they were still held up as uh, having the correct opinion at the time. Wow. And he believes in them. <laughs> well, yes. Why wouldn't he? Have you seen this man's face? <laughs> Repro oh, Jesus Christ. Why did you have to put it like that, dude? We're going to be dating flesh monsters. Why did you have to say reproduced? I don't know. Reproduced the experiments of Pavlov and Skinner. This is getting worse and worse. And consulted with Weatherman, Miller, and Young. I have... Young? I don't know. I don't know any of that. Yeah. And we've distilled them all into effective methodology that loosens the prisoner's tongue while leaving them free of the phys but physical cuts and bruises that don't play well to judges and juries. Dehuman... Dehumane-like. Or real humane-like. Oh, God, God damn it, not his face. <laughs> but listen to me ramble on. The reason I brought you in here is because your cellmate, Mr. Charles Ketting, is one of these deviants. We've tried our best to build a psychological profile on him, find a proper plan of attack, but Mr. Ketting managed to run out the clock on us. Mr. Ketting will have served his sentence as of midnight tonight. Wait, are we gonna be- are these flesh monsters actually the- actually are probably gonna be the deviants and we're probably gonna have to sentence them to prison? <laughs> That's probably why we're dating them, oh no. This is awful. Well, I didn't think this was gonna be the case. <laughs> and what's worse is, is this is approved by Twitch. Well, I mean, Twitch, like, that's the thing. Like, it's fine with, like, it's fine if this is meant to be critical of these actions. And Twitch can obviously choose to, yeah, like, non-problematically support and approve games that are critical of this sort of thing. So we'll just have to keep an eye. Like, yeah. I, my reactions are mostly based on being uncomfortable by the world that's being set up. It's it's still a fictional world. It's just bleh. Yeah. Unless we get a confession in the next few hours. Oh, god damn it. That confirms it. <laughs> I want you to read these documents from the U.S. Attorney's Office. Oh, maybe this isn't America. If you believe any... Actually, yeah, that makes more sense. I, I, I'd I, be willing to guess that if someone was put in charge of a prison in, like, uh, West Germany after uh, the end of the war, they would have probably been more progressive than this fucker, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah. If you believe anything in these documents can be... If you believe anything in these documents can be used to get confession out of Mr. Keating, we need to know. Oh no. It'll turn if you merely read these documents. If you don't find anything, we'll consider your sentence served. I highly doubt it. What does that... okay. I know. It sounds too good to be true. Anything you can tell us might be the key to keeping this monster behind bars. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. 
he doesn't fit into our world. That's just bad. He Jesus be Christ! Oh, God. Uh, he belongs with me. Drag an object to move it, click to view. Oh, whoops. That's wrong. Okay, I see a car. That's, that's, that's a bus. Some kind of long automobile. These are plants? <laughs> yeah, drawings of plants. Very, very nice. A house. A, a, lo a lovely little home. What does the note say? Okay, what what voice do we give Keeney? <laughs> know what? Might as well play into it. Dearest mother. <laughs> oh my god. Dearest mother. This bus trip is a bit longer and more uncomfortable than I was expecting. But I should be an L. Okay, yeah, this isn't. I should be an L. Oh, don't go to Alabama. Why am I going to Alabama? <laughs> <laughs> Within a few days, I've called Mr. Petrov's office and he assures me his facility is a few hours outside of Fayette. Whatever the fuck that town is. So I'm not as far from civilization as I feared. I may have to fork all the nightly edition of the paper, but we all must make deep sacrifices in times of war. Wait, who's Petra? Do you know? I mean... My, my brain just died. Oh. Um... I, uh, I, I think that that's just an inserted name. I don't, I don't know of any historical figure with that name uh, that that would be referring to. Please remind Father that Dr. Petrov's work is being funded by the U.S. Army, and although I won't exactly be one of the tough SLBs marching into Kiritos, into here. Hirohito's palace, I'll be an active contributor to the war effort. Besides, I hear if I were a service member, the letters I send you would look like Swiss cheese, and we don't want to excuse excuse it, it. My mother is lactose intolerant. <laughs> Oh, I see like those sometimes. No one. I hope this letter finds you in better spirits than when I left, and in worse spirits than when I am there. Wait, what? I don't. Uh, your loving son, Charles. I don't. I hope this letter finds you in better spirits than when I left, and in worse spirits than when I'm there. Okay, so in other words, he's saying he hopes that she's not happy when he's not around. <laughs> okay. Actually, there is a Dr. Alexander Petrov, who's a professor in Ohio for psychology. Well, wait, like when, when was that guy active? Uh, he's apparently in his high 70s right now, so. He would have been too young. He would be a baby. I believe he would be a baby boomer. Yeah, the only other Petrov is uh, a Russia, Russian uh, figure skater. From the Soviet Union. Hey, fair. <laughs> let's just let's just move on. I think that that was just a canned name. Yeah. I that... don't know why we're fixating on it. <laughs> I, I was just curious to see if we didn't actually know who that person was. Wait, now I'm just imagining him that he's just going to go see a figure skater. <laughs> why 
would be why would the Soviet Union figures Vader be in fucking Alabama right? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. This might be a force acting. The cool thing. They just baby like twelve. Oh wait, I probably have 19, to click. 19. Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's animated. Oh dear Christ. He's very jiggly. <laughs> Hello? It's, it's Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Stop! No, that is not Jeff Bezos. <laughs> oh dear <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, it's... Okay. His face. Fucking clip art. <laughs> Animation. Dr. Petrov. I'm sorry for the call. The bus trip is taking a bit longer than I was expecting. But I should be there in just a couple more minutes. Uh, no days, not minutes. Those are long. That is fine. I still get up the lab. Most of my supply shipments will be arriving late. Well. Yeah. Also, when it comes to, like, uh... When we actually do face monsters... I think I should be the one voicing them. I don't like that. I mean, it's mess up as, as I have experience voicing monsters. I know. <laughs> yeah. Still... Anyway. You should be in doubt just if you want Oh! You should be in town just in time to help me get everything up and running. I don't... I... I'm changing. I'm trying to decide on what voice I want Doctor Petrov to have. <laughs> Wait, I'm kind of making him sound like Nixon now. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, when you talk like that, because I just watched Futurama recently, you're making me think of Nixon. You should be in town. <laughs> you should be in town just in time to help me get everything up and running. Goddamn liberal. Oh my god! I don't like that. Oh my god, oh, what the- why, why is he making that face? Is there nothing inside of his mouth? It's just a void. He is void. That's the, that's the sound that's coming out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah, he's just having an extremely weird yawn session. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Is there anything I should brush up on before I get to the lab? I managed to grab a decent selection of medical journals when I was in Boston. Le uh, uh, stop, stop, just, just stop wiggling like that. Stop that. Plant cellular structure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Six ten is from is basically a plant like creature thing. No, it's not. Well, it turned into a fungus infection. Remember? Funguses are different from plants. They are. Yes. Oh, never mind. <laughs> let me let me go, let me go check. Are fungus plants? Today we know that fungi are not plants. But the botanical history of fungi pr provides an interesting perspective on our scientific bias biases as how we classify organisms and how they impact our collective knowledge. Is fungi considered a plant or animal? Mushrooms are fungi, yes I know that. They belong in a kingdom of their own, separate from plants and animals. But they're neither. <laughs> Yeah, they are neither plants nor animals. Wait, then what the They're... hell would 610B classified as? Because <laughs> they, they uh, switch out from fu fungal infection to, like, meaty abominations. Well, they're still a fungus. A, a meaty fungus? <laughs> okay, that's It's a fungus that's attached to a human body. It seems entire like... Like, well, one, we're trying to apply real-world logic to anomalies, but... Yeah. Like, 
they're attached to human bodies. Mm -hmm. They have flesh to pull from. And the fungus may just be in a shape or form that looks like meat. Yeah. Anyway. What cellular structure? Look at his computer space. What cellular structure? Oh wait, I forgot. <laughs> I, I was still so looking at the. I was looking. I was. I was looking at the live stream. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> what? But it's of the work we'll be doing as a bit cross disciplinary. Oh no. Cross disciplinary, yes. I trust your medical knowledge is up to date, but I need to make sure you press up on seven and three to support me. I suppose I could visit the bookstore while we're at a stop. A newsstand should have some pe pre 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 periodicals. You good? My brain no work well when I'm out. Wait, his mouth is finally moving. His mouth moves a little bit, like Albert does. It makes little wiggles. Let's move on. <laughs> no, they tell Tata. No, that. Doing these voices. I don't know what it is, but doing voices for your streams just drastically reduce my brain's capacity. <laughs> <laughs> No need for the latest journals, Mr. Keating. Uh. I'm yawning. Uh. Uh. Okay. You don't need to know the latest scientific learnings, but you should be able to write and Oh my god, I should have. Oh, I should have fucking made that piece of shit guy Nixon. That would have been so perfect. <laughs> I got you in the middle of talking and then you have a revelation. <laughs> I just imagine him saying that like they would write, I should have made that guy his voice Nixon. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're thinking Keening on the other end is like, who the fuck is Nixon? <laughs> is that guy even born yet? I actually, he probably was. I think he's Sam. Yeah. Whatever. You don't, you don't need to know the latest scientific learnings, but you should be able to write and illustrate a grade school textbook on basic plant bi biology with your eyes closed before you get here. I'll... I'll make sure to still be hard on the trip over. Oh, I don't like his eyes. Good luck. You know, like, what I'm doing... Ju just like with my... Just like with Albert voice... With Nixon voice, sometimes I'm just gonna devolve into making gargled sounds and then that's going to be the line that's it so in, in other words instead of good line all he's actually saying is da, 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 da. <laughs> good thing i don't have to add subtitles <laughs> da, 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 da. Hey, uh, <coughs> choking on the he's choking on his own voice <laughs> and uh if you could bring a tin of real coffee i'd i'll i i is is that i'd that is i'd the apostrophe mixes with the with the d and makes it almost look like a weird h the i is fucking the d <laughs> no the apostrophe get it right <laughs> I appreciate it. We're down to the stuff cut with. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? Chicory? Chicory. 
chicory. I've never heard of chicory down here. Oh, what is chicory? I don't care. I'll do it my best, sir. See you in few days. Click. <laughs> oh, I forgot to ask if it was all right for me to record the call. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of cool. Common chicory is a somewhat woody uh, perennial herbaceous plant of the family Acerasaceae, usually with bright blue flowers and rarely white or pink, native to the Old World and has been introduced to North America and Australia. I see. So it's a plant. Well, that much was obvious. Hey, shut up. Oh no. Okay. Science is a poor pursuit for young men. Oh god, this man is everything that is wrong. <laughs> science, science is a poor pursuit for young men. Too much, in, in, too much infatuation with the new and novel, with no room to appreciate the ref, refuge of tradition. Ah yes, my favorite tradition. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Quite frankly, Mr. Keating should have seen what was coming next. Oh no. Wait, is Mr. Keating the one Oh who's... dear God! Oh, fucking hell. Mr. Keating's the one that's dating flesh things, probably. So, uh, apparently this is gonna be our first this date. Is, this is wrong. This is- get this off the screen now. <laughs> I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm guessing- I have no fucking clue. I'm guessing it's either, like, um- Plants that have been potted or a microscopic image. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I don't like this. I didn't know what it was. I thought it was just the top to a top, like a lid or something. I didn't think it was this. Oh. Oh. No. Oh. I'll read this. March 8th, 1942. This subject, 42-FA5. And it's time for her meal. Wait, what? I didn't get to read that. What the fuck? It you seems... probably accidentally pressed it again. Yeah. It seems to be able to sense when the fly is near, but further experimentation will be needed to determine how. I don't... Oh god, the... Oh, I... Uh... Notice here, she swallows the fly hole, pushing it inside of its stomach. Once it starts growing teeth in a few days, She'll switch into chewing as it conserves a bit more energy. Is that the only tape? Yep, that's the end of the tape. Dragon on. Oh god, we've got another letter. Dear Aunt Slugdale. That is her name. <laughs> happy <laughs> happy oh, no. birthday. I'm sorry I couldn't be there in person this year, but I hope my package arrives in time for the party. Work has been busier than expected. Please don't tell me, me he sent that stuff to her for her birthday. <laughs> don't you worry, we're making flesh plant. <laughs> flesh plant? Okay, give me a second. You're gonna name yourself that, aren't you? No. <laughs> that shit. Maybe. You know, you know, I can see. I can. See, I saw it change. <laughs> I saw it change. Hello, oh, yes. Name is Flesh Plant. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. My name is Flesh Plant. 
Aww. This game is pretty nice so far, but, like, it's still <laughs> fucked up at parts. <laughs> well, it's... I mean, it is a horror game. It's gonna be fucked up. Yeah. Anyway. Work has been busier than expected. I'm sorry for my last few letters gave the impression that I can be frank about the work I'm doing, but now that the lab is fully operational, the experiments have started in earnest, I realize some self-censorship on my own part will be required. In the vaguest terms possible, my work involves supplementing the army's di Oh god. Oh god. Oh my- Oh, they're feeding this to people. Oh uh, god. Uh, oh god. Uh. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Okay. He keeps getting is more and better. <laughs> Chu says, is dying inside and outside. Hello, Chu. Oh, wait, did Chu get to see the video? Oh, I don't know. Run. Run, Chu. Anyway, Hatchet. Uh. In the vaguest terms possible, my work involves supplementing the Omid's diet with quick and cheap meat. But Dr. Petrov has some lofty goals for where the research could lead. I'm sorry to say your sister's son attended college to become a glorified sausage maker, but it's not the worst place war could have taken me. That being said, Dr. Petrov is very passionate about the work we're doing. It's miles different from the lab work at Tufts tough, tough, tough College. There's half a dozen experiments in different stages of development, and every day I'm learning something new. It's frantic and fast-paced, but energizing. It'll be a while before the world builds the village. Excuse me. It'll be a while before we're manufacturing canned meats. But it could probably, but I could probably trade you some jerky for your homemade fudge by next Christmas. Uh, oh no! Uh, I give, I will feed you flesh plant in exchange for fudge. <laughs> your loving nephew, Charles. My name Charles. Hey Pika, what do you think about this? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about this right here? <laughs> Fucking screen now, you son of a bitch! <laughs> you know, you know, I have to click it. No, you really don't. But Chu didn't get to see it. I'm waiting for Chu's response. <laughs> Chu didn't need to see it. Merch Gardens is now available on Misplay. Wow, yeah. thanks for the random notification to my phone, Mr. Choose, choose, choose to turn mentally and basically to have a reaction. School's more or less literally killing me. Okay, that that's is fair. unfortunate. Okay, I guess I'll Here, give the recording. Here, give me a moment. I must do something very important. I almost collapsed this morning. Oh, Jesus Christ, Chew. Oh, God. This seems to be necessary. There. Yes. Recording dated March 3rd, 1942. Oh no, I gotta do more Nixon boy. Wait, his hand, before you do anything, look at his hand. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> Mr. Petrov, it appears that your hand is hanging by a single ligament. You might want to go check that out. <laughs> I am running on four hours of sleep, and I haven't been skipping lunch. Are you saying you haven't been because you have been? I have. I have been. Yeah, that's not. That's not good. Eat chew. I demand it. Chew. Eat. Eat the chew. I wait. No, not that. I can't type. <laughs> I did. Well, I guess she would want to be eaten, but that's besides the point. Um. Anyway, I'll 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 get to reading this guy's lines now. 
<clears throat> there, we're recording now. <laughs> With his face. I don't know. I don't want to be recorded. No. <laughs> oh, what the hell did you get me involved with, Doctor Petrov? It's a flower char. <laughs> it's a flower char. <laughs> it has teeth. Yes, the teeth were unexpected, but look how eventually they grew in. <laughs> Even may they grow in. I'm so delicious, I, I've been repeating the same song in my head over and over all day. I think they meant delirious. Del I... <laughs> I mean so delicious. I mean delicious is thematic for what I was talking about earlier about you wanting to get eaten. <laughs> I tried my best, okay. <laughs> yes, the teeth were unexpected, but look how even like they grew in. <laughs> the dentist. <laughs> the... <laughs> the dentistry isn't the issue, Doctor Petrov. What you're doing is unethical. I'm very sleep deprived and not fully here. Fair. Fair. How exactly is it unethical? <laughs> wow. Are you saying that I'm not a perfectly moral human being? Speaking of a human being. Uh, you ripped apart a living, breathing thing to make. Mr. Koenig. Oh, wait, no, I just confused, I just mixed the two voices together. Mr. Koenig, this isn't a butcher shop. I'm not hacking and stitching animals together like cheap circus attractions. So, this is not the factory. Got it. Oh, Jesus this. Christ. What? I just see the second sentence. <laughs> the first I grew four words. Power for the bla Blastokist. I found a <laughs> Blastokist. <laughs> What's your favorite idea? Mine is being creative. How do you get the idea? By thinking creatively. Are you okay, Chew? <laughs> <laughs> I think Chew is a little messed up right now. Is Chew, has 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 schoolwork turned the Chew into a bot? Yes. I grew this flower from a blastocast. Blastokist. I fertilized the egg by needle injection in my lab. It's just the first four words of the second sentence. I mean, it's... Uh, I fertilized the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's not... I mean, it's... No, I haven't been okay for weeks. I'm losing it. <laughs> that song is looping. No, I, oh, I, all I'm saying is I'm going to just clip that with, with just me said, I fertilized the egg. <laughs> and that be the end of it. <laughs> don't, don't, don't forget. This is quite literally scientific terminology. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be taken as a sexual you know. Yes, it, yes, it can. But still, what do you, what do you mean, Guru? Before it reaches the embryonic stage, you can count the number of cells inside a blastokist by hand. If you have an expensive. <laughs> <laughs> My brain is dying. <laughs> if I have an expensive microscope, a small needle, and lots of time, you can even identify what each of these individual cells would grow and divide into. <gasps> Maybe that's what that picture is. That's what I'm guessing, yeah. I thought it was a microscopic image. <sighs> So 
so I take those individual cells, and instead of letting it grow into a monkey, I manually pro I manually revolve. Nixon is killing my brain. <laughs> so I take those individual cells, and it, instead of letting it grow into a monkey, I manually remove what I don't know what I don't want it to grow, and rearrange what I do want it to grow. Right? Yeah, I'm looking at Pika's message. Oh. Hey. When you look at this orange, tell me what you exactly see. It's just a boring <laughs> orange. Maybe to you, but not to me. <laughs> oh, choose just... She was just typing the song. Oh, that's what I've they're. I've never heard this song. <laughs> Same. But but why turn it into that? You read those botany books like I told you to, yes. Yes. <laughs> His face. Very simple structures, aren't they? Most of the plant is made of the same type of cell. Not complicated organ system. No complicated organ systems, no skeletal structure, no need for a centralized brain. If I took these pre-embryonic masses of cells and just rearranged them willy-nilly, I create thousands of malformed feet and failures before I stumbled on a useful fall. Uh, is this game just about playing God? I guess. I don't know. <gasps> Wait, we can create our own flesh girlfriend. <laughs> Shut up, right? <laughs> So instead, I use plant structures as a basis to rearrange the cells, and the results have been astounding. Just a few rows of my pseudo plant cell design, it is now only maintains the, and it not only maintains the structure but continues growing it naturally, like the animal cells can remember their plant roots. Pardon the pun, of course. But you're missing the point. You're not going a new life. You're, you're forcing something to suffer from its own birth. They don't suffer, Charles. <laughs> I've been analyzing their brain patterns. They, they use so little energy to grow their brains default to a dream state, a calm, peaceful sleep. And then we'll be killing them for their meat. Yes, but someday I'll design them to grow as large as trees, shedding meat like apples off their branches. They reign for hundreds of years. This is awful. This is awful. Wait. Let's just take it like they're they're not like they're not talking about plants. This is just basically. <laughs> Like, they're trying to create 610. They're literally trying to create a thing that's like 610. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. How is, how is this anything like 610? Because 610 has the ability to infect non-living things and turn it into its fleshy structure. It's been do it's done that to buildings. As well as poles. That, and other things. That's completely unrelated to what he's talking about and it's they've, the reason why i said like the the hang meat like apples is because uh in the church they hang live human beings like fruit and slowly dangle them down when they're just ripe and feast on them 
Well, this is this is still like yeah. It, this is extremely different from that. Yeah, th this is a lighter version. But well, it's I still not a see lighter version. I still see it going wrong. I can see it. Well, going I mean, very it's, wrong. it's it's absolutely going to go wrong, but it's like a completely <laughs> different situation. This isn't a contagious pathogen of any kind. This is just making meat plants. <laughs> The forest of these trees will negate the need to raise animals for slaughter, ending a 10,000 year old genocide of innocent creatures. Oh, Jesus Christ! That's the, that's the thing. This is actually, like, almost sounding ethical. Yeah. Like, if this was actually possible, I mean, this is basically just the same idea as, like, the not too distant dream of just cloning meat without a brain attached to mm -hmm. get away to, to get rid of the ethical concerns around killing animals to get meat yeah but it's 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 done in a uh just what the fuck <laughs> yeah just thing what is, the fuck like if we don't kill some of the animals that we have on farms, it can lead to overpopulation. And the pop- well, the population would- Like, the population would steady itself fairly naturally. Oh. Like, they- they have such a high population because we're the ones uh, using them. <laughs> like, that sounds wrong. Well, yeah, the, the, probably because it is kind of wrong. Like, yeah. they they have such a, like, the animal population is where it is and is so detrimental to the environment because of factory farming, where the entire point is to have an absurdly large amount of animals. Yeah. Without that, they just tend to meld well with their ecosystems. They would probably be invasive for a some time but ultimately most animals would right. just have steady populations if we just stopped penning them anyway enough about logistics about farming <laughs> I already I already bought a plot of land a bit further north for when I'm ready to grow them of course, I just realized a joke that we hadn't properly made. Of course, this is all happening in Alabama. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is all taking place in fucking Alabama. <laughs> I thought it would take decades for me to make something like this, but then I found you. I read your paper on atypical embryo. Em, bre, em, em, bre, uh, Nixon doesn't do big science words. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Embryonal uh, development. And it felt like a pra practical extension of my own work on the ter 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 what did I just do? Oh, I guess I can save right here where you fucked <laughs> where you had trouble. Nixon's gonna shoot you in the fuck. <laughs> that paper was on birth defects, Petro. I can't do that to animals on purpose. Holy shit, they're trying to give these things birth defects. Well, no, it's not it's it's more that he's like using stuff that's related to birth defects as a basis to do his work. Uh. What's evolution if not a series of beneficial birth defects? I mean that's actually not wrong. <laughs> yeah. What would take a thousand generations and dead ends to spontaneously develop, we could grow overnight. 
While other scientists are trying to fix the problems nature gave us, we'll design a sustainable future for the planet. Well, it should. Well, it should be a future without biting flowers, at least. Why is he looking at me like that? I don't know. Really, Chew? Why, Chew? Why? Why do you use Scare Bright, Chew? I was not receiving attention. <laughs> but maybe you could isolate the stomach and rearrange the structure like a Venus white trap? A Venus flytrap. See, I'm glad I recorded that because I am out of a penny. <laughs> out of penny. Oh no, what's the next thing gonna be? Tape shut off. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, he's drinking now. Oh fuck. Now men like you or I, we would know better. Well, no, you wouldn't. No, yeah. men like you or I, yes, I'm, I'm a real, you, you see, you can tell that I'm a I, I'm a very well-adjusted human being by the fact that I fantasize about beating my mom because she was a suffragette. Yes, you know, I'm I'm a good person. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Can anyway. I just... Give me a gun. <laughs> well, uh... My bodies tell me I have to shit, so... First time I get to use intermission. The new one. I, I really love my overlays. She was gonna hop. When the witch is in the woods, well, welcome she went to her gingerbread house. You don't accept. Uh, that's it? That's it. Did it right? Yeah, you, you cut off, you don't accept, and then... Violence. Uh oh. <laughs> I said... When the witch in the woods become... Welcome... Uh, 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 I don't like drugs. <laughs> My name is Richard Nixon. <laughs> <laughs> Don't accept the invitation. Oh no. You throw her in the fire. Oh no, it's gonna get worse. Yup. Um. The fuck am I looking at? I don't know. Uh. Oh, look, the flower changed. Uh, at least it's a little less cursed now. <laughs> Doesn't have tea. <laughs> Has... reptilian arms. Those or... are not reptilian arms. <laughs> or legs. I don't know what the fuck you call them. Oh, look! This looks familiar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Meat plant. Alright, it's time for the letter. Yay. Dear cousin Delilah. I've been paying extra to get the hometown paper shipped down here in Alabama. And I, oh god, I just remembered I'm in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> and I read that you wanted blue ribbon for your penis butter fudge at the at the county fair last month. You must be absolutely over the moon. I can wait to a lesser extent. 
As I've told you in my last correspondence, I'm finally getting the hang of the work which must be secret, and I've managed to make a breakthrough of my own. Essentially, for the past year, I've been trying to perfect Dr. Petrov's recipes. It'll make some new sort of confectionery, and when he feels like, I'm, oh god, I don't, please, oh god, I hate this coding. I, uh, confectionery, and when he feels like I'm ready, I'll go through the hard work of perfecting it. A little less flour here, a little more baking powder there, try to get the ratios just right. Aww. But I've finally made a recipe of my own. I hope someday I can share it with you, the rest of the family. And make you as proud as you all make me. Especially the ribbon. Yeah. Oh, no. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> this is awful. Also, when the fuck are we going to be dating the monsters? I don't fucking know. With Wolf, Charles. I want to see some monster dick. If it's Twitch approved, it's not gonna have that, you fucking dipshit. P.S. Take heed. Your mother won't stay the third. The third. The brother. Take heed. Your mother won't stay the number two baker in the family for long. And she'll make everyone in the family fat with fudge until she's reclaimed her crown. What? <laughs> Well, time for the recording again. Life is so funny. Why do you save them all into individual save spots? Because I can. Recording dated August 24th, 1942. Okay. It's ah. <laughs> it's on. Why is my brain... I've been watching too much hentai today. Still don't like his hand. I don't either. But like, I I hear, okay, it's on. And my brain says they're doing some kinky cosplay. That <laughs> shit. Say that again, Charles. I'm mad. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> yes, but the whole thing, you drunk. The entire thing you said, the whole thing again. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The plant animals we've been growing tend to be very small for a lot of reasons. We've only grown them from single rearranged bioclasts. We've only allowed them a few weeks to reach maturity. The plants can't grow faster than the animal's parts it came from. Yes, but get to the important part. Okay, so our experiments with grafting have been failures. But... Instead of trying to graft during adulthood, we can simply make our pre-embryonic blueprints bigger by using more bioclists. Oh no. And this wouldn't result in rejection because... We have well-documented cases of siblings ingesting other smaller embryos in the womb resulting in the embryo containing cells from both siblings, chimeras. Yes, humans can make be chimeras. They will shoot you. <laughs> like, doesn't that happen, like, sometimes when they have... Oh, when a woman yeah, gets... Yeah, this, this, this does happen, yeah. Okay. Wait, I wonder how the mother feels when one of the children just gets eaten. No. I don't know. <laughs> well, 
They're not children at that point. They're literal selves. <laughs> Only one of us can survive, brother. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's continue. We will merely start the start that stage in the process even earlier and assemble larger plants. Now that implies we can only use genetic siblings to build these plants. Or some we can't use other animals to genetically <laughs> and then you move on. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, you said it right. <laughs> That's what you have to do. Like, when I start breaking down, yeah. unless, like, I start all over clearly, you can just continue. Yeah. It hurt. It physically hurts my brain to try to re say this shit. <laughs> we could certainly experiment and find out. Oh, certain. Uh, uh, look, who who the fuck made this font? God damn it! It looks like Isle, not Eyed. Uh, I'd certainly like to see a rabbit pigeon, d d d uh, or something, Dandelion or something. This hurts my brain. You blow on it in a. <laughs> You blow on it, a bunch of seats will fly out on rabbit ear wing. Oh, God. What the fuck? Bro. Bro. Calm down. At first you were against this, and now he's, you're for it. He's, he's, been ra he's been wrapped up in it. He sees He sees the, the, the good that, that meat plants can bring to the world. Although I'm uh, g given the general tone of this, I'm guessing it's going to come to a bottleneck in which they end up trying to use people. Yeah, and that's where we get to date them. <laughs> you see, inspiration can strike at any time, Charles. We're gonna have forgotten all of this in the morning. Yes, fine. I can see the merits of your little recording device there. Oh, another idea. Wait, how am I speaking so legibly when drunk? <laughs> I'm wasted on 75 caliber vodka hole. How, how, am I, how am I still piecing syllables together so coherently? It must be all the flesh blood. What if you made blunt? <laughs> Just complete silence for a second. And immediately, we'll solve. Okay. Yeah. What if you made plant animals that in con in inter in interconnected with each other, like pieces of pu puzzle puzzle piece, <laughs> like pieces of a puzzle piece? <laughs> okay. There's there's a little bit of the intoxication coming through. <laughs> It's always good, good science happen oh. when drunk, yes? I gotta do something. Oh god, what are you gonna do? Wait, are you gonna name yourself pieces of a puzzle piece? No. Or are you gonna... Or are you gonna do plant animals? Yep, pieces of a puzzle piece. Hey, Hatchie, you mind clicking on me to see my profile? <sighs> yeah, pieces of a puzzle piece. Do you not see any, like, special colors? Well, I mean, yeah, it's like, you got nitro, obviously. Yeah, I but... like it. I, I mean, I barely care. Fair. Anyway. Uh, can I get out of this, please? Uh. 
You could have one plant specifically designed to collect and refine nutrients, when you can, with which you can feed a second plant that can just focus on growing bigger. That's a strange plant to need a... That's, that's a strange plant to need a mouth, Charles. That's a strange plant. You're one to plant. talk. That's a strange plant. Oh, wait, that's not... That's a strange place. He's <laughs> a place. That's a strange plant. That's a strange plant, Charles. <laughs> that's a strange plant, Charles. Alright, so I know uh, two things I need to clip from this tree. <laughs> that's a strange plant, Charles. Whatever you'd like to put a bit of. Oh my god. <laughs> Wherever you like to post the mouth is fine with me, Dr. Petrov. <laughs> I would prefer mouth on groin, you know, so, so the plants suck cock. <laughs> that shit. I want flesh plant to be flesh, the flesh light. Ah. <laughs> uh. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. What was that? Like, he's actually getting worried for a moment. <laughs> uh. Oh, yes. Uh. <laughs> I'm mixing up the voices too much. Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> it was just a little joke. Let's let's call it a name. <laughs> Did he actually just flirt with him? I don't know if it was him floating with him or him. Oh dear God! Oh dear God! Our main man is considering actually making sex toy plant plant the animals. Oh no! <laughs> this is this well, is this all is, wrong. This is why it's called the romancing flesh. Uh. Um, aren't you recording this by any chance? Wait. You er, you weren't recording this by any chance, are you? Hey, shut up. <laughs> Wait, why are we going back here? Extra home to, yeah, I don't know, maybe you accidentally clicked on it? I didn't click anything. <laughs> if they'd stopped there, we might be hauling them on gas gastronomic. <sighs> If they'd stop there, we might be hailing them as gastronomic pioneers. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Heck, I might have eaten up rear eye salad for dinner tonight. But then they decided to start fucking the plant animals. <laughs> but I think they wanted more than food. <laughs> but I think they wanted more than food. They wanted to fuck the plant animals. Oh, they wanted to put. They wanted to put their wood in this other weird wood. Oh! Oh, oh no. no! Oh! Oh! God! This is wrong. This. I, this is wrong. Oh look! Oh, I did not notice that at first. What happened to the bunny? What is wrong with the bunny? What is that on the bunny? Uh, one of its legs. Well, thank. <laughs> I'm questioning why it looks like that, you fucking dipshit. <laughs> well, look, the flower, flower grew more beautifully. That, the, the flower has, oh, it has little flappy wieners. No, oh, it's a boss. The flower is a cock. <laughs> Wait, there's another picture here. Oh god, there's... What the hell is this? It's an aquatic one, Hatchet. You you should like it. Hmm. It's got tentacles. And a beak. Don't tell Spoon. <laughs> Don't tell Spoon. They, ma they made a goddamn meat plant out of a squid, damn it. It's all... It's only family's messaging. Like, he doesn't want to... He doesn't have any friends. <laughs> I wonder why he has no friends. <laughs> the first indicator that he may not be the most mentally stable individual 
is the fact that he decided it was a good idea to take up a doctoral job in Alabama. <laughs> Research job in Alabama. The second indicator is the fact that he wants to fuck his animal plant creatures. Dear great, dear great Uncle Anthony, great Uncle Anthony, dear great Uncle Anthony, I fucked many plants. <laughs> it's just that's all the letter. I fucked many plants. <laughs> Love Charles. <laughs> I tried recreating your famous drive rub. Oh god, I don't don't say it. Oh god, <laughs> dry rub. No. <laughs> I tried recreating your famous dry rub mix. Some of the ingredients were hard to come by, rationing and all that. But I think we managed to get the close proclamation. We threw a little backyard barbecue, that's what we saw. We saw a little girl eating our meat plant, fucking hell. <laughs> we threw a little backyard barbecue for the neighborhood. To taste test our first production batch of meat. It was a resounding success. This little experiment has given me a newfound appreciation for the time I spent on your farm when I was younger, Dr. Pell. Younger. Dr. Petrov nearly fainted during the butchering process, leaving me to do it all on my own. He reminded me of the time you put shell clarabelle cl chicken on my dinner plate. Please write back when you have the chance. I'm dying to hear how the rest of the family is doing. Your city slicker grand nephew, Charles. AKA Plant Fucker 69. <laughs> <laughs> well, another audio log where I probably make that bitch off uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm good. I'm B Mr. Petrov. Let me fuck the plants, though. <laughs> Look at how vivacious it is. Recording dated November 20th, 1942. I must stake my I must stake my sausage in the voluptuous plant leaves. Oh, here you go, Hatchet. Audio log. Numbers, numbers, numbers. We may have a bit. <laughs> you good? Richard Nixon do not know how to count. <laughs> Using numbers today. We may have had a snag with the rabbit experiment. Ask me, wait, this is this. Is, are you recording? <laughs> oh wait, it's, this, is are this you me? recording? I I think this is me. Oh, uh, you were recording a log on the rabbit. The 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 rabbit with fucked up leg. <laughs> It's just the lover spit sick. Oh god, no. What the no. Fuck? No, don't. No. Did he fuck the bunny? No, I don't think that's what happened, but this is uh it's just the lover spit, Sergey. They'll be back together in more time. <sighs> the rabbit's new leg. Bit it, Charles. <laughs> so he grafted a plant animal onto a rabbit. Ah. Uh, this is awful. Yeah. I warned you this might happen if we didn't engineer both of the animals together that way. Ulna was a little confused, that's all. Let Jack settle down for a couple days and I'm sure he'll take Ulna back. After seeing how quickly Jack took to his new leg, I was more than happy to let this whole thing keep going. But is this necessarily the best for both of them? Ulna can move around on their own, and so can Jack. They're not wholly dependent on each other. Maybe we could just let them stay friends. This is... 
this is not how science works. <laughs> What I just basically there, they just the the other guy just ripped the or his leg off, just jammed the other leg in. <laughs> uh, uh, yes, Cheryl. Do do you think that do you think that we should continue to purse subject A to date subject B, or should we simply let them remain friends? <laughs> By, by Joe, subject C just friend zoned subject D. <laughs> <laughs> Should we really be watching subject E and F? Uh. <laughs> Maybe we can just let them stay friends. <laughs> <laughs> He looks just mad. stayed friends. Look at his face. He looks pissed off, but also looks just, funny. Just stay friends. You think I made these two to just stay friends? What about the pets, Lapa? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> we should really be focusing on our real work. Plus, this is starting to veer off both our areas of expertise. Let's just call the experiment off for now. You want to call it off, Silky? Well, maybe I should take your advice and engineer a new symbiote for Omba then. A new partner. It might solve Omba's problems. So he's is where the symbiotes came from. What are you talking about? Venom from Spider-Man is, is a symbiote. Oh. Yeah, it, it, it was... This is this was, is unrelated. It, it, was, it was a joke. I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, like, the Venom and other things like it in the Spider-Man series are all symbiotes that attach to people. I see. And become that, so yeah. Yeah, there's actually... Oh, let Oh, That's sorry. Right. Go ahead. There's Go actually ahead. in one Spider-Man game where you can get a, a bad ending is where you basically control all the symbiotes and take over the world. And become an evil overlord. Yeah, I don't see why that's the bad ending. That sounds like it went pretty good for Mr. Parr. <laughs> <laughs> or not Mr. Parr. What the fuck? That's Incredibles. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh... As Spider-Man's walking, you just see everyone just get brutally murdered. <laughs> yes, perfect ending for a Spider-Man game. Wonderful. Wonderful. Anyway. Well, we don't know what sort of effect that'll have on Jack, mentally speaking. Again, Charles, this is all very new to me. Everything we've been doing here has been new to me. Some new experimental organism, a novel discovery, some unexpected result. And it is exciting, don't get me wrong. But it's nice to have something someone... It's nice to have something, someone, reliable in all that chaos. I fuck plants. <laughs> who was also a little exciting himself. Oh, so it's a male plant. And I'm glad that person has been you. Oh wait, that was him. Never mind. I still fuck plants. <laughs> I sent Momo, I fuck plants. No, god damn it. <laughs> I was gonna be like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> uh, okay, gonna just, just give me a second. <laughs> uh, let's see, where's Momo in my DMs? There he is. <laughs> You're gonna explain. <laughs> Just that uh, I fuck plants. <laughs> I gave all the explanation needed. I simply sent I fuck plants. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I'm just gonna get two messages and just say I fuck I, plants. I fuck plants. God damn it. What's <laughs> wrong with us? This is wrong. <laughs> it's hilarious though. Maybe we can play it <laughs> Maybe we can keep the Jack and Ona experiment going. We can pick up the discussion in the morning, if you prefer. Deep shot, wait. But why is he doing this again? Oh, it's probably because I was I using the space bar. Either that, or it might be that technically you're supposed to read that after the tapes. Oh. Maybe. So you've already read all the juicy stuff. Oh, God, don't put it like that. Come on. <laughs> yes, I love Shit. the porn. Shut up. <laughs> Sir. Oh, no, there's even more. The rest is the boys in blue mopping up. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I just imagine it constantly screaming. <laughs> I I just find it funny because like, like I haven't been pointing this out to, because suspension of disbelief. But there's just something about this image that is just like, like it's very clearly like an edit onto an actual image, and yeah. it's just it looks so fake but so <laughs> funny at the same time. Yeah. You've got a meat bamboo. Also, if the meat also <laughs> just an example of how fake it looks. If the meat bamboo was actually being hit by the fire, why is why does it look like the meat bamboo is pasted over the fire? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, meat bamboo. There's that. Got this. This is the people. Oh wait, no, this is the police. This is the police report, so Yeah. No more no more no, no more meat though. You want me to do it like what I did with the date thing? Yeah, go ahead. Incident report narrative. On the above date, P.O. Daniels responded to a call about an escaped animal. Upon finding the loose cow, P.O. Da Daniels saw its mouth was covered in blood. Upon closer inspection, the grass the cow is eating with some kind of malformed rat stuck in the ground. After calling for backup, officers discovered a sizable acreage of very deformed animals. Mr. Keating became agitated and in response, officers were forced to put him into submission. Mr. Petrov was taken into custody for questioning. For health and safety reasons, it was decided to humanely dispatch the animals before bringing Mr. Petrov and Mr. Fielding into custody. Safely dispatch to humanely dispatch the animals. That's a picture of a guy with a flamethrower. That's not a humane way to kill animals. Memo the office of redacted. Redacted. As my JAG officer has previously claimed on my behalf, Dr. S Sergei Petrov was awarded by awarded a government contract from General Redacted. 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 <laughs> I got the Redactus. Okay. Who died at Redacted. During Redacted. <laughs> resulting in a transmission period in which most of Petrov's work of an already secretive nature was done with little to no oversight until my office was made aware of it. Unfortunately, my upcoming absolvement may result in many more officers lower along the chain of command being found at fault. Officers, you do not want to bring to court during these desperate times. Considering the improbability of sy systemic failure within the U.S. Armed Forces, I suggest we propose the possibility that foreign agents were involved. Under the specific circumstances, Petrov was working as a contractor. A treason charge would take him outside of U.S. military jurisdiction and tried as a civilian. You're welcome. You got a, you got a whole ass cover-up going on. They have to cover up all the splooch-covered- Oh, this is a letter. Plant animals. 
I say it, this is you. <laughs> well, it says it still has a redacted thing, so I think it's... Oh, okay. Two. Redacted. Mr. Keating... Oh, this is... Mr. Keating and I are currently... Fa oh, yeah, this is the Russian guy. Uh, not the Russian guy, the Nixon guy you gave Nixon. voice to. Yeah, Nixon. Mr. Keating and I are currently in Fernandez County Jail. I believe the police have set fire to most of our work. I tried to save as much as our work as possible, but please send copies of all the records I've sent to you, sent so far to your offices. And if you have any internal copies of your correspondence, please send those as well. We've made a remarkable progress in the last few months, and I believe if we act quickly, we can still reach our first production deadline. Thank you. Dr. Sergei R. Heller. That's not my name, I'm goddamn Richard Nixon, you fucking piece of shit! <laughs> oh, goddamn resolution. Just break it up, Richard Nixon! <laughs> <laughs> We live in a delicate world with a fragile time. This is not an era for radical new ideas, because I have the good idea of beating my mom because she liked the idea of women getting to vote. <laughs> I hate this guy so much. This is not an era for radical new ideas. We just found a long and hard war to reestablish the grand order of the world, for heaven's sake. And on American soil, a couple of dandy bookworms were playing God and feeding diseased meat to our children. I couldn't stand it. I mean, that makes sense if they're feeding diseased meat. That well, yeah, is like, illegal. This is, <laughs> like, th these guys are obviously in the wrong. We can just still also say that this fucker is a piece of shit. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying that. He's still a piece of shit. Yeah. So I took a leaf from Mr. Petrov's playbook. What type of playbook? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, no. <laughs> For some reason, it was really sticky and it was laminated. <laughs> <laughs> I psychologically tore Mr. Keating apart, and I reformed and re-educated re him as soft. Wait, oh, no. oh god, that's just wrong. Oh god, this is so bad. What type of message is this game giving? <laughs> it's giving the message of, this is a fucked up setting. <laughs> that's all. Into you. Oh. Oh, fucking hell. Oh. Oh, look, we're a D-class. Hey. Uh, disassociated state you're in, Doc, Mr. King. It gives you a sense of clarity, doesn't it? Uh, I don't think so, <laughs> looking at that character's face. <laughs> he looks like he wants to die. I'm gonna save right here. Oh, God damn it! with him having that face. <laughs> yeah. You can see what I see. Okay, so when do I start dating and fucking flesh monsters? Shut up. <laughs> Why didn't your family ever bring you back? Why did your lover try to rescue his work instead of you? Wait, they did turn oh, into lovers. They actually. Oh shit, they actually. Damn. Okay. Damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised this guy hasn't been more homophobic in that case. Yeah. Given his general dispositions. <laughs> if you leave this prison tonight, where can you go? Oh, I gotta... Ch Do I choose? Okay, I'm gonna save just in case I do have to choose. 
You know the answers. You know why you're here. You know why you need to sign this confession. Why you need to stay behind bars. Okay, it wasn't choices. You left home and traveled across the country, hoping you'd change into the sort of person your family would miss. But instead of doing something to make them proud, you decided to pursue what made you happy and you became a sick car car caricature of everything your parents hated about you in the first place. A mama's boy sticking his meat in the dirt. Hoping it will grow. It sounds wrong. Sir, please back off. <laughs> Stop getting closer. Sign the confession. That is the one option. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't an option. Oh. Sign the confession. If you leave this prison now, you'll undo all the work I've done for you. No. Just, what, what work? Right. You piece... Oh, God, I hate this man. Yeah. You'll fall back into bad habits and become the same person you were three years ago. And none of us want that. Would you? No. I don't want to shit. Oh, wait, uh, that's... that's well, it. I mean, you voice this character, so... No. I don't want to change back Warden. Wait, did part of him just fall off? I've made so much progress, it looked like it. Um... It was hard fabricating the equipment necessary to continue your doctor. You're right, Hatchet. Wait, is that... I can't tell if this is... Is this supposed to be... Yeah, that's part of him. Because he had that beard going on. No, no, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if this is Nixon voice or Russian voice. Oh, this is the the Nixon guy. His, his font changed to this. Uh, yeah. It was hard fabricating the... Fabricating the equipment necessary to continue Dr. Petrov's work. But you couldn't believe how fruitful my experiments have become. Jesus. Oh. Oh. And quite frankly, I like the persons I've... I like the persons I've become. Uh -huh. Wait, no, I think this is... I the think Russian this guy. is... Russian guy. Yeah. And quite frankly, I like the persons I've become. Jesus Christ. Well, uh, the Nixon guy gets attacked. Is that it? Oh. It took me months to find you. You didn't answer what I called you. Uh, uh. Wait, is that... That's the, the other Nixon guy. His lover. You didn't answer what I called your name. From a distance, I almost couldn't recognize you. But I found you. Oh, wait. No, this is supposed to be uh, the... the the Russian I, I need to be doing the Russian. I hope you're dreaming of me. Drinking from the brick. What? Brook. Oh, good. Drinking from the brook. Eating the fruit from your branches. Huddling from the rain and sleet in your safe embrace. And someday, in a brief moment of lucidity, maybe you'll read this message and know I'm gone. You wanted us to change the world. And we did. Starting with ourselves.
I'll always remember you fondly. Love, Charles. Ben. Okay, ben. that's it. That's it. That's the end. Romancing. Okay. Okay. Not what Rome I expected, one. but it was pretty interesting. Yeah, that was honestly, I like the overall story. Um, we have confirmed that he did fuck plants because he was gay and he, and, and they both turned into plants that are meat plants. My head yeah. hurts. So, uh, as we've all figured out, um, some random Russian guy and Richard Nixon came together in a loving, fleshy matrimony. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was a whole experience. I have the another game called The Babysitter. <laughs> it's also another oh. horror visual novel. If you want to continue. Oh, is that The Babysitter? Is that from the same people that did the convenience store and stuff? No. Oh. Ooh. Well, okay. You want to continue? Yeah. Wait. Back up. What the fuck was the point of the voice volume? Yeah. Wait a minute. There was no voice. There was no voice acting. <laughs> it. It. That. That was the volume that determined how loud I could be. Yeah. <laughs> that was just. Uh. That was. I'm. I felt. I feel bittersweet about it. Yeah.